Hello. How are you doing? My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel. I'm getting serious downloads from, you know, God in the Universe since December. Well, okay. I'm trying to keep up. Whew. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I already said that, right? Oh my gosh. Okay. Get it together. We're talking about love. We're talking about light. We're talking about empathy. What do we preach? Self-love. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of people who need self-love and we're going to give it to them. But the reason why I'm jumping on right now, the reason why I'm looking at this camera and talking to you at this moment is because I had, I forgot to mention something that Sonny was talking about when we we're sitting there having lunch at this, the Hill Diner. It's called the Hill. It used to be Ziggy's or pizza. Really beautiful view. A buffet. Awesome. And we're sitting here talking and he, we, I mentioned, mentioned the idea of the SOS app. You know save our souls and blah 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 and he goes he this is how sharp this guy is right this is a guy who's seeing numbers on people's foreheads and he instantly said it's it's bad and he goes the stigma of that though of being labeled homeless by going because i was telling him but you go to the city hall you say this is my name i'm traveling blah 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 living in my vehicle and they give you a sticker that lets the local police know who you are you've been checked in and that you're not a threat you're not, you know, sex offenders or any of these weird fuckers that, you know, felons that are killed people. You know, things like, come on, there's, there's, those play, those, uh, it, that's a tough one. You know, as an emperor of the universe, I'm supposed to love everybody. And he even questioned that when I told him that. He goes, well, what about the people that did really fucked up shit? So don't, they, it dissolves them their responsibility. I was like, damn. Yeah, this is, Sonny's on it. And I was like, that's the problem. I was like, why do you think I was having such a tough time with this? I was like, I have to love everybody. I have to defend the indefensible. I have to find the little child inside that monster. And that's tough, baby. And Sonny would would have been an enforcer. If he would have if this he would have been in the mob, Sonny would have been an enforcer, seriously. I mean he might have been, who knows? But the guy was, you know, he's a vet, so I'm not sorry, I keep on. He was a veteran, so I give him total respect on that one. But he's a big dude. And he could have been an enforcer, kicking down doors, right? So <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the people that you meet. But he's a, he's a gentle giant, man. You know, there's a lot of people out there. And I can't believe that guy. He he just, he was right on it. This conversation was amazing because I was throwing it back and he was giving me feedback that I needed to talk about. And the registry is what I want to talk about. And the fact the stigma of being homeless in this registry. And then I thought about the app. Uh, the registry would be separate. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. But the app itself is genius. I don't care. It's genius. And the reason why it's, I'm getting all caught now, I'm sorry. The reason why it's genius is because if you have, put it this way, every public official, every cop, every social worker, every teacher, every grounds worker, every, you know, everybody should have this. If you're a, if you're a federal worker, you should have this on your app. If you're a, if you're a social worker, have this on your phone. If you're a city council member, on your phone. A chief of police, on your phone. Sheriff, on your phone. Not as a bad thing. If you're looking at this from a point of compassion for your fellow man or woman or a non-gender specific entity, who cares? The point is it's a human being suffering and we got to help them. Somebody's sitting in the car somewhere. Like I said, man, I've seen it. I've seen women, women, young women. Like when I was in Sedona, this chick pulls in and she's trying to set up a tent. She just, you could tell she was just, she was going through it. This was the beginning of lockdown. And she was trying to probably do what I was doing just, but she didn't have the vehicle to sit in and chill. She had a little car and she tried to put this tent together. And I was like trying to be cool and just like give her space, you know, cause it was COVID shit, right? People were really uptight. Fucking really. I mean, diamond factories, people just walking around. This poor girl was just. Gave up on this bucket thing, threw it back in her trunk, and slept in the front of the car. And I'm like, oh my god. You know what I mean? So I've seen people going through this shit. So I think it's important that these people that are in charge help these people find this place where they can feel comfortable. I'm still seeing it. I'm This lady parked in next to me last night. They didn't, you could tell they were trying to act like cool, like they weren't going to stay, right? But this lady had a, one of those flat tents that they put on top of their vehicle. So you know she was traveling. It's a lot. I mean, there's there's tales that you can tell when people are living in their vehicles now. It's just really ridiculous. A lot of minivans are the thing. 
you know, and I got blessed with Dharma with my my up, Chevy Uplander. Oh wait, it's this thing is a monster. She's badass, bad. Got in a wreck and she didn't even get a leak on the radiator, man. Give me a break. Badass. So yeah, yeah. So you can see the tells. And I think it's important that there not be a stigma because it should be about empathy and compassion. It should be a badge of honor to want to watch this thing. Ooh, my my SOS app went off. The beacon went off. And that's the fucking cool thing. I told him that way, if you're like huddling someplace somewhere in their GPS, God willing, you know what I mean? People are trusting the system again. That you you would let people know where you are. That's important. That you don't fear your your authorities. You love your authorities because you know they got your back. So if you're in the middle of nowhere and you're hungry and you're feeling like jumping off a cliff, SOS, my app. This is who I am. I'm feeling wrong. I need help. Please help. And, you know, there's drama queens. We all know the drama queens. The one, you know what I mean? The, the hypochondriacs or whatever. God bless them. I mean, there's going to be mentally ill. We're talking about it. and I and I think it's important to be honest when you when you register for the app. I mean, if you're just a rich fucker that just wants to be a philanthropist, God bless you and put it on the app. But if you're somebody who's suffering from like I don't know schizophrenia or these, there's like in San Francisco they have people with actual tags on them telling authorities what their fucking issue is, so they know automatically oh, schizophrenia, or whatever. Yeah, that kind of it's how bad it is there. But I mean, I don't want it to be like that. But the point is, is if if somebody knows your situation, they're not gonna think you're a drama queen. They're gonna want to come and help. They're gonna say, "Okay, this motherfucker's just always beeping." You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just spitballing. Maybe it's like that. At Minnow Palantero, Chris, I love you, babe. He always says, "Teamwork makes the dream work." Yeah, that's how it says. Teamwork makes the dream work and I can't do it alone but I'm just spitballing and throwing ideas out the SOS app is amazing it's a great idea I don't care who does it as long as it gets done baby give me a little credit so I ask a little props but anyway the, otherwise I love you and I'm gonna let you go because I, I don't want to run over my dad on this and have to just stop on me or something I'm okay I'm cool yeah no stigma we are all in this together we are one monetary value doesn't doesn't an act doesn't encompass who you are as a human being. How much is in your bank account does not make you or value as a human being. Bullshit. I don't care. Whew. Okay. I'm just. With that being said, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is fucking crazy about that. Let me get out. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Okay,